welcome to my new studio. I had an open house last weekend and new studio launch um, in my new space. Uh, I had a little room down the hall here at home and I, it was too small. I was just closing in on myself and one of our good friends who's a carpenter came over for a beer one night and came up here with his tape measure and between the two of us we came up with this uh, layout and so it's nice and bright and brand new which I love so I hope I'm going to be doing lots of creative things here. I do a lot of different things. Um, this little setup here I'm making cards. I, I love to make cards. I used to actually have a line of handmade greeting cards that I sold for many years but decided to move away from that. But I still like making cards for friends and family. I have a little list here of who needs cards. And uh, over here I'm working on um, a commission. Uh, I've been asked to create a, a booklet for a, a bursary award for a high school student. So the family, they want two uh, of these booklets created. Uh, one that they can keep themselves and then one that will go to the recipient with the chuck. And I've got a rough here of what I did last year, but I think I'm going to change the layout a little bit and make something like this. It will go like that and his, his picture will be on it. So anyways, this is my little sketch here, trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> what size it is and how I can incorporate these uh, copies of these pictures in there of him and his mom. And then behind you I'm working on a painting. Uh, I've been doing this kind of a uh, type of work where I, I've had a photograph, family, usually family photographs, I seem to be working along that line, um, transferred onto canvas and then I start working over top of it, doing a lot of um, cursive writing and just uh, stream of consciousness, thinking about the time the picture was taken and you know about this photograph is my sisters and I when we we're quite young so thinking about that time in our lives and you know maybe about us now and who we are and where we are so uh, that's just very beginning so that'll look a lot different by the time it's finished so these are some finished works I've got here in the living room and these were up last weekend for the open house and this is uh, part of a series called the more you love a memory and I've used the same photograph of my sister when she was about 12 or 13 that I had enlarged and um, just done different treatments to each piece. This one has a piece of frosted mylar over top of the paper photograph and then I've taken a piece of foam and painted it and stamped this uh, grid. Uh, this one call is called It's Your Turn and I was kind of thinking of when we used to play checkers down in our family cottage. So, yeah, this is all relating back to our childhood. So I tried to not totally cover up her face. I wanted it still to be slightly visible. And the photograph that, that I'm using, I didn't really think uh, too much about it when I first chose it, but it is more of a classic uh, pose, almost like a Mona Lisa face. So people are finding it very compelling. And then these pieces over here, um, this one is uh, just partial fo uh, photograph that I've done as transfers, image transfers on wood. So I collaged some textured papers on the wood first and then did an image transfer with the photocopies uh, onto the, the wood and then I attached all of the nine cradles together to make it one piece. And then these other three are all done on different layers of mylar. Like sometimes they'll have clear mylar, sometimes frosted, and two or three or four layers. The, the photograph typically is the bottom layer. And then like this first one has collage on it. So there's a lot on both sides of the mylar, the clear mylar. And then um, put over top of the, the face picture. This one has, I think, four layers on it. So the photograph and then a layer of white writing, black writing, and then 
some gray squares stamped on. And same with this one, it's got about four layers. So, and the writing again, it's it's my thoughts um, about her, or our time together, our childhood together. And so this is just part of uh, this whole series. I think there's about eleven pieces that I'm uh, in the process of sending out proposals. <laughs> Try and have a show somewhere. I I do have one show next year, May. 2017 up in Fort St. John. At, it's called Peace Gallery North, so at least that's uh, exciting. And I've also been asked to teach a workshop using the Mylar technique, so that'll be a, a fun time. This is my most recent painting called Beaches, Blue Skies and Blueberries. And again, I've used a photograph or a lens-based image in the background, the photo was transferred to canvas. So the photo is actually uh, our old summer cottage when I was um, from the time I was five to fourteen. So a lot of fun memories there. And again, I've um, done a lot of different uh, applications here, mostly acrylic paint, sometimes uh, acrylic gouache. So just working with some different layers of colors. Um, choosing four colors and then repeating them twice across and turning it the other way and just trying to, you know, break it up and make it more interesting instead of just painting flat colors over the piece. So, and the words again, uh, there's quite a few layers of words and glazes and again, just my thoughts about our time at the cottage and, you know, what we did and you know, things that my parents did with us. Uh, like, we really had an excellent childhood, I have to say. So I guess that's why I keep going back to it and drawing inspiration from it. Okay, this uh, painting is fairly recent as well. It's called Pink Sponge Cake. And that title, it was just another memory from childhood where my mom, for birthday, she used to make these sponge cakes and Pink icing was popular with sprinkles, and so there is a photo behind there, the photo, same photo that you saw in the studio of my sisters and I, but as I worked on it, the colors started to get a bit too dark, and um, I ended up starting to cover the photo, so I just thought, okay, well, it's going to get covered up, and I have to be okay with that, and I just let it go, and uh, just kept going with the layers of colors, and um, textures of different styles of lettering and so I've used a, a one inch brush for the big blue uh, writing and then the um, cursive writing on top is done within a little bottle with a nozzle on it. Lots and lots of layers again with writing and glazing and uh, some acrylic gouache and you know just a lot more texture. I just love texture and layers so that's what I'm trying to achieve and just you know, obviously memories are like layers as well, so, you know, these two are more colorful than the one upstairs, but I just thought it'd be fun to experiment with color. I don't use a lot of color normally, but trying it out, and I was pretty happy with this. <laughs>